my Carta Monday shop talk, everybody. I haven't got my mail call yet. That's the uh, my Carter slabs, and I think I have another uh, traditional knife coming in. Yep, and it's coming in by mail. Order through Amazon, but it's coming through by mail, and it hasn't been delivered yet. Today's my Carta Monday. This is all I carry today. I use this quite a bit in the house, opening up boxes and stuff, uh, cleaning out my knife room. I was able to finally do, check out my video if you'd like. I finally did an overhead shot inside the room because it was sprinkling outside, it was perfect time. I cleared out a drawer for my traditional knives. Of course, I had to sneak some, uh, I think they're in there with my honey badgers. But I pulled out all the traditional knives that I have and laid them on the table and I did a video. I was glad to do that because you know that's been on my list, has been bothering me. Okay, this is my card of Monday, so I brought this out, uh, thinking I was I might throw it. I'm not sure. I've done a short on it. This is my card of scales I put on it, the red. My hands get it so dirty, but the thing about my my, my card, you can just wash it off with soap and water. You know what I mean? This is uh, let me tell you that. This is the 24-7 Smith & Wesson, and it's HCR 13 MOV steel. Just not sure if I'm going to throw it. I'm going to set it right there. Not sure what I'm going to throw. Here is the very first BPS knife I ever bought. Yep, this is it. Doesn't look like your BPS knives that you see me have. I've got every one of the BPS knives on Amazon. I just, once I got this, and then I bought the first one or two leather sheath wooden handles I was sold so I got pretty well a drawer full of BPS knives but this is a completely different what, what you would see on BPS isn't it this is a I was looking one night that's how I got found it I went on Amazon I was looking tactical so this is kind of like a boot knife uh, everyday carry you know self-defense knife it's my card of scales and look at that I bought this specifically to throw it's got jipping right here. It's sharp on one edge. But this top edge here, I'm telling you, it can be sharpened. It's just that width if you want it. But I bought it specifically to throw. So when I first got it, it had that, uh, it's my Carter Scales, but it had that sheen. And what I did, I just took the screws off and took a little sandpaper, you know, just a little paper, sandpaper, and just kind of rubbed that sheen off. So. I throw it once in a while. I just haven't videoed it. Feels really great. My Carta. It is a great carry though. I'll tell you. It's lightweight too. Very light. This is uh, when I throw this. I'm up uh, a little bit closer. It's just you have to be. Because it's just light. Uh, or I could go back and make it do a lot of spins. But this is, this is what it's for. You know. Not to throw. It's a self defense knife. But the way they did it, you can use it, you know, single edge. I don't know if I made sense with that or not. Then this morning, y'all saw me bring out this Ontario MK3 Navy knife. And uh, it's just been sitting out here. I'm, I'm taking it inside. And I got to thinking, you know, I never did do a short video on this, I don't think, as far as throwing. And I'm not sure about showing. So I might do them both. Just to practice with you guys, this is a 440A stainless steel blade. Okay, it's got that saw back right here. It's got a high impact plastic handle, they call it. And it's very grippy though. I, it feels like it's uh, in between rubber and plastic. They just did a great job with that texture. You see that? There's the USN. It's got a metal butt end, butt end. Screws down there. Just an all this is a serious knife. As far as I know, it's currently st still issued. Navy issued. I'm not sure because of the, uh, you know, the Ontario buyout, but it had a lanyard back here. I believe I took that off. 
because it was like this one here, shoestring. This is nothing more, this is a diving knife. I guess that's why it's Navy issued. Nice high impact uh, sheath. Made, made in USA. So I gotta decide on what I'm gonna throw. You know, the last time I threw this, it was just a freak accident. I might have had a, something inside the board or something, but remember I did the little tip off of it. I kind of reprofiled that. It's fine. I just can't believe I left it out here. I think I was in a hurry or something after I did that. But this is Shop Talk. If I get the mail call in, you'll see a mail call uh, video. I need to. That'd be kind of cool. All right, y'all take care and sog out.